This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Ruhr Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Good morning. As usual, it's right around noon here in... Uh, well, we always start right after noon, so let's see. It should be around 15 minutes past. Yeah, 10 minutes past, yeah. So um, today we are traveling only to Trondheim, 420 kilometers from here. But you see, I met, you know, I keep seeing meeting followers, well, fans all over the trip. So in where the first occurrence was in Tromsø, we met five places, five different people over there. Uh, Honningsborg at North Cape, one guy there. Here, yesterday at the charging, one guy. And then these people, nice people behind me here, they're also followers, uh, fans, met me also here. You know, they're traveling with family and they, they told me that they travel only around 400, 500 kilometers per day. So they also traveled from Eidsvoll, roughly, to Trondheim yesterday. And then that's around 400, 500. And then from Trondheim to here, yeah, yesterday evening or something. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, I have to show you <laughs> what a poor washing jo job I did yesterday. Um, yeah, okay, I kind of rushed it. I just want to get most of the, the schmutz out. But you see, you don't usually see it when it's, uh, when it's wet. So you have little spots here and there <laughs> still with schmutz. What about on this side? Uh, yeah, the same story there. Yeah, okay, well, what, uh, whatever. I, can, I would be a pretty bad uh, detailer. <laughs> but um, I'll show that at least we charge to... Huh? What? Why is the... Maybe I have to restart. We have from time to time, it might bug a little bit. So we just start it again then. Load it. Hmm. Well, this usually loads pretty fast. Initialization. There, okay. Yeah, 99%. So, remember to A, B, C. Where was the A, B, C for the day again? Always... Wait. Uh, yeah, I, I might remember it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was always begin charged. <laughs> so, that means that the car at least expects us to drive 400 kilometers. So, uh, we are now off-road. I don't know why we are from, but uh, we just have to drive south now and I have no idea where, where I will stop. But let me give you guys some idea. You know the route here. For example, if you want to go to Namskogan, uh, I, I guess we will try Namskogan. But Namskogan is usually occupied, especially nowadays, I think. so. But here, we, you see how far, you have to zoom pretty far in until you see the charging state. Huh? There, you see how far in you have to char zoom? That's ridiculous. Most other cars, like let's say the Audi system, you see the chargers way further out, you zoom, yeah. So that's only 200 kilometers to Nomskogen. So I might have to stop at Grong or somewhere, we'll see. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll come back to the juicy stuff later today. getting close to Grong and uh, you see we are 100 kilometers away from Steinchai now 
if you look here, you can see that, yeah, we've been driving for 250 kilometers, three hour, over three hours. So uh, 100 kilometers left to a uh, high power charger and you see GOM has 163. So, you know, we could technically, the car could drive all the way to Stainchan, no problem. That's only 200, uh, 350 kilometer total. But man, I have to bail out now. I have to go to the restroom after three hours of driving, feel like having to pee. So I guess we just have to take a little pit stop, but uh, we have a fast charge over there. So we might as well top up also while we have a short stop. And I feel like cleaning the windscreen also. Okay, ch short pit stop here at Haron. We have a, a Neutron charging here also. So, um, uh, we didn't want, uh, she, uh, wifey didn't want any food, so I was like, okay, I offered her something, no? So that means uh, just clean the windscreen, seven and a half minutes, eight minutes, yes, good to go. We are now in Steinchad and here we have branch banking new charging location. High power charger. It smells shit over here. I thought that was only during spring. But anyway, so look, 150 kilowatt Delta chargers from Mir. Two of them. Oh, you know, um, until now, the... <laughs> The fast, the, I mean, the high power charger was uh, shut down, yeah, uh, earlier. I can, I can show on the map, but finally we have a little bit more high power charger further north, a little bit further north. So I will show you now how the situation is for non Teslas. Uh, let me see, yeah, by the way, we're getting 115 uh, kilowatts. You see, I arrived with over 20%. Ideally, you want to arrive with 10%. So actually, if we didn't plug in, at Haran, we might get 125 kilowatt now. <laughs> but, uh, no, what the heck? Okay, uh, there's... All right, uh, I don't know what's up with this one. Uh, it did it yesterday or two days ago. Yeah, because of some... Uh, it claims to be closed road. It's not closed road. Uh, actually, the navigation made it kind of weird like this throughout the whole trip. You saw it earlier on the way up that it claimed that roads were closed, but it was, in fact, not closed. But what I wanted to illustrate is that over here in the south, we have Ionity, we have BKK, Fortum, whatever. Lots of high power chargers. But then north of Trondheim? No, 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 no. We don't really have any. Until now, over here, Sjördal was the northmost point around here at least. So you know when I did those um, Arctic road uh, trips? I mean, sorry, not like Arctic circle trips, I would always top up there. But now I can actually drive a little bit further and stop up here. But we still have almost 800 kilometer stretch between Steinchar and Narvik here, <laughs> where we have another high power charger. On the whole 800 kilometer stretch here, we only have 50 kilo kilowatt fast charger, except for Buda. But you see that if you're not going to Buda like we didn't, First get to Buda and back again, that's a pretty long detour, so yeah, but it's coming. I heard rumors it's coming, but uh, what's going to come first? The high power chargers from uh, whatever uh, other uh, operators or that Tesla opens up the superchargers next year. Yeah, we will see. But okay, anyway, so 
I'm gonna stay here a little bit. We're gonna top up because I actually don't expect to get fast char I and mean, to get uh, slow charging at the hotel tonight. Uh, so we might as well go over here and go to the restaurant, maybe find a little snack or something. Yeah, we have Amfi shopping center right here. We are now at Yuri Pikina. Just gonna get some snack while we're waiting. Well, it took a lot longer than expected. So you see, we went for a carrot cake and hot chocolate. So I ordered it. And then the lady said, yeah, just uh, wait uh, by the counter. I mean, at the counter, the, the hot chocolate will be ready soon, okay? And then uh, we sat down here and then I went back to the counter to wait for the hot chocolate. Waited and waited and waited. All the other customers, they got served. And then the lady was like, are you waiting for something? Yes, I'm waiting for the hot chocolate. Oh, yes, that's right. And then she made the hot chocolate for me. No sorry anything, no, no. So no big deal. It's just that I didn't expect to spend that long over here. So we're already at 78%. Well, well, well. I guess we should try to dig in then. Hmm. Oh, what the heck? There. We are finally in Trondheim. I haven't been downtown Trondheim in actually quite some time now. I usually just pass through it. You know my trips, I just pass through uh, Trondheim uh, on the outer side, but now we are in the city, you know. Trondheim has a nice uh, church, cathedral actually. Niederosdomen. And I think that's Ola Tryggvason. Yeah. And right down here, just I checked uh, the map, you know. Back in the days, I used to charge here. They have changed the charging stations a little bit. Yeah, it used to be some weird looking charging station. Now Fortum is running these ones. It's just 7.4 kilowatt. Uh, but that's good enough because you see, we did charge a lot at the Amphi. Yeah, for obvious reasons. So now we're down to 70%. We we're receiving six kilowatt or something, but that's fine, that's fine. So um, I can show you that. Let me just go outside again. You see, um, these are free from via Fortum app or whatever, yeah. Uh, so you can at least get the juice for free. And then I can explain what these numbers mean uh, if you ever come to Norway. So, Ladevar, Motorvogn, under lading, okay, that's good. It means chargeable, uh, chargeable um, uh, Motorwagen, yes, like this one. It's a fossil car, but it's chargeable, so it's allowed to charge here and park here. Uh, but you have to be charging, <laughs> so that's good. And the time there, 8 to 20 means weekdays. The 8 to 15 means uh, Saturdays. And then if it was in red, it will mean Sundays. And then it says maximum three hours, but the three hour limit is within the within the time frame. So outside of the time frame, you can park as long as you like. Yeah. So, all right. And then I checked on Google, it's just 200 meter walk from here to the uh, Thai restaurant. This is it, Bangkok Cafe. There's, there's, no, 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 no. There, there's something in Thai there. Bangkok Cafe. Bangkok Cafe, eh? Okay. This one is supposed to be one of the best Thai restaurants. We, we haven't had good Thai food yet on the trip. Huh? Men? 
Okay, let's go inside. The food is here. This is Kwetiao Nua, beef for wifey and also for us shared. Some some tam papaya salad. Mmm. It seems to have the right ingredients. And for me, duck. Mmm. Yes, we, we ordered lots of food, but you see, we are pretty hungry. I haven't eaten much all day. You know, a good sign of Thai restaurant, proper Thai restaurant. First of all, if you hear Thai look tung, Thai music, that's good. People over here are Thai. And also, Thai people, they eat with spoon and fork. They eat like this. So if you go to Thai restaurant and they give you knife and fork, that's a bad sign, like yesterday. We got knife and fork, we had to specifically ask for this. Okay, let's try. Mmm, quite tasty, but lots of sauce. But yeah, this is good. And then some tam, let's try some tam. Mmm, mmm. Oh yeah. Some tam is good. They call it sap. Sap is when you have salty and sweet and well, spicy, but... Okay, okay, well, sap means good, yeah. <laughs> but you usually use it on some tam or similar things, yeah. This is sap. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ma, that was great. Finally, we had some good food. We couldn't finish it, so we had to bring a doggy bag. Yeah, did you see, it's always hard to predict how big the portions are because yesterday in the other Bangkok place, uh, it was around the same price for stuff, around 20 euros for some tam, and then we just got a little bit of food. <laughs> but whatever, you know, it's still early and usually I, got, I get hungry late. So I might eat that at night food around midnight. <laughs> yeah, we are going to bed late and we wake up late. I mean, we are on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smoker just passed us. <laughs> we are at least on, I mean, after all, we are on vacation. Yeah. Tonight we are staying at Skandik Laskendal. Last time it was uh, Clarion something, yeah, yeah, further north. So we try Skandik this time. Uh, this is also the first time I stay here. So let's see how good or bad it is. Uh, what I'm always concerned about is part. Well, you see, I need to clean the car because the, the, I see this every time I exit the car. <laughs> People see that, damn, this guy did a bad job cleaning the car. <laughs> But uh, my concern always is where do I park the car outside the hotel? Or do you have to dig around and find parking spots? What about charging? Well, there's some high, there, I mean, there's some, uh, there's some uh, 50 kilowatt right over there. At least, let me see if I can ninja it from here. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can see it there. Okay, you see here? I already checked it beforehand. That was plan B, just in case we need juice. So at least that's convenient. I'll probably just charge to 90% over there. And now we check in, you know, it would be nice if we can get top floor. Yeah, or maybe it doesn't matter. Whoa, you see the Skandik is over there. And I draw a couple of hundred meters. You can also see the fast chargers are right over there. Yeah, just to give you surroundings. So you just have to drive around here. And then because the reception said that uh, we have parking right in front of the hotel, which is expensive. You have to pay, I think it was 350, let's say 35 euros per day. And then slightly less expensive uh, places, a little bit on the side of it, but all of them were taken. And then the receptionist said that, but you can go to Antianu over here and they have guest parking. Uh, so you see, it says Antianu. It means, um, ANSA means uh, employees or student or guests, and I'm a guest, 
for lot by multiple charge and, and I was like okay well and then I saw we have some Schneider over here lots of them 28 stalls I mean 28 charging points total and I was like what so you just plug and play no RFID needed and at least I'm getting I'm getting 11 kilowatt here so I don't know how fast these are if they are even 22 but 11 is plenty you see we're gonna finish charging it well can we find out how long it's gonna take so, I mean if I knew about this wait 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 wait, wait. vehicle load the OS yeah, you see it's going to finish charging in one hour and 20 minutes no problem but if I knew about this I wouldn't have wasted time charging other places but this one this site here was not on plug share there was another site with some shuko further down the road there and so you know what you should do if you find something like this check out everything so um, I'm gonna show you now I have all these apps but plug share I added an entry wait is it not updated yet wait why is the picture there, 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 there. you see you can add a charging location so I did just remember that when you add pictures the last picture is the first one to be shown so I want to add this one as the, the last picture and I even uh, entered this one here which will show you how much it cost and also the parking uh, yeah whatever people might want to see about the parking and also I show you charging speed so what you should include is show in the car you have if possible how fast you're charging show uh, take pictures of the charging stations uh, and like the sign here uh, over here maybe I know there was a sign over here so that is very useful information when people are planning a trip like I did beforehand uh, I consider Scandic but then I was like ah we have maybe DC fast charging over there which is okay but this is even better because you can just plug in here and then you take a walk back to the hotel plenty so highly recommended so far yeah and I think I've done everything. Uh, I pay, prepaid until noon. You can also do that. Uh, so I think, yeah, you, even, even foreigners can do it because you just say, yeah, you can switch here, I guess. You can switch to English, you say visitor, and then you put in the car's registration and then you pay with whatever. Oh, it also supports GPay. Huh, cool. Yeah. So, yes, pretty cool. Now we're going to check out the room. Mandatory room inspection. I guess we can start with the bathroom. Hmm, well, Scandic style. Um, okay, we, get, we keep getting these rooms for some reason. Uh, I think this is also a superior room. So we have fairly spacious room. Yeah, wifey already took the best spot as always. And uh, we have also extra bed here. You see, like this one, yeah. In case we fight and I have to sleep on this bed. <laughs> uh, oh, shit, you can chop my fingers. And this time we got 15 floor. Oh, look at this view. Hmm, so that's, that's wait, wait, here. That's Lashkendal Stadion. You know, I mean, I don't watch football, fussball, but um, we have uh, Rosenborg Football Club. I think it's quite known, they are pretty good. Yeah, so, but yeah, that's not for me. I don't watch sports. And you can see, oh, I can almost see the, the they have the, the charging spots down there. Yeah. But I don't have any sentry mode or anything. So, you know, once, once I walked back, I saw that we had spots, available spots here, but whatever, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so that's it then. As usual, you know, I'm getting a little bit uh, fed up with this traveling drive and then eat and then sleep at the hotel, uh, scavenge for juice in the evening. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to go back and relax and do some 1000 kilometer challenge again. But yes, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you later.